Leicester 1 0 Man City. Foxes ruin £100 million Jack Grealish's debut 5 talking points. Former Manchester City forward Kalechi Ihianacho was fulled by Nathan Arke in the closing stages before picking himself up and scoring from the spot in the 89th minute. FA Cup holders Leicester City won the Community Shield for the first time in 50 years thanks to Kalechi Ihianacho's late penalty at Wembley. Former Manchester City forward Ihianacho was fulled by Nathan Arke in the closing stages before picking himself up and scoring from the spot in the 89th minute. Premier League winners Manchester City had introduced new £100 million signing Jack Grealish as a second-half substitute in the match, but Pep Guardiola's side struggled to create chances throughout the match. Riyad Mahrez had the best chance when he broke clear in the second half, only to blaze over the bar. Here are the game's big talking points. 1. A Man City a little undercooked. With almost all of the summer focus on the transfers, it might have escaped the attentions of some that Manchester City have had a fairly strange pre-season. With several players away following tournament exertions, and with coronavirus restrictions more than playing the part, City have had a fairly low-key few weeks during which they've played friendlies against Preston, Barnsley and Blackpool, all in the quiet settings of their academy stadium. Pep Guardiola has seemed a little agitated by it all as well, and with a tough beginning to the campaign featuring games against Tottenham, Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea and Liverpool in the first seven games then they'll have to hit the ground running. 2. Leicester are boosted by Harvey Barnes. He's back, and he's got a new squad number. Harvey Barnes is Leicester City's new number 7, and he'll be hoping to have a lot more luck with injuries than he had at the tail end of last season. The wide man was out injured for the last three months of the last campaign, and it isn't too much of a stretch to say that Leicester's tilt for the top four would have been a bit different had he been fit for it. He might also have had a shout of being in the England squad for the Euros too, but now he's back and looks raring to put those two wrongs right. 3. Leicester look light at the back. The devastating injury suffered by Wesley Fofana in the midweek friendly against Villarreal was of course a great personal shame, but it has also left Leicester in quite a problem position. Johnny Evans' fitness can't be relied upon at the moment either, leaving Kagler Soyuncu as far and away the first choice at the back for Brendan Rodgers, and then a cast of characters. Daniel Amate has been around at the club for a while yet has never really convinced, while Wilfried Ndidi can do the job but you really want him in midfield. A trip into the transfer market could be needed. 4. Riyad Mahrez has it all in front of him this season. It turned into a frustrating evening for Riyad Mahrez, who got a rough ride from supporters who used to idolise him as he tried to lead Manchester City's fight from the front. Things didn't quite come off for him, which you can put down to rustiness, but he'll be desperate for it to all click in the coming weeks as he eyes a chance to even further his already stellar reputation. Mares is a wonderful player, but still perhaps underrated by some. As he goes into a season with his club somewhat in transition, he can really grasp the opportunity to become a world star. 5. Jack Grealish won't want to get used to Wembley cameos. And so Jack Grealish spent his Manchester City debut doing a lot of what he did in the summer. Sitting on the Wembley bench and being willed onto the pitch by expectant fans. In the end we got what we probably expected, as the England super sub looked a little rusty but still showed glimpses of his talent. He'll get better when he's surrounded by better players, but now the challenge is to establish himself as a £100 million player and not a Wembley bench weller begins. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for up to date news from all around the globe. Thanks for watching, it was latest football news daily, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.